Allie, let's play about three points. Play to win. And let's see if when Elliot's fall, just watch my feet and listen for the contact of his ball. That was quick. Watch my feet. How many saw me move left the center before he hit the ball? Oh, yeah. I'm only he headed over there. I already knew he couldn't go down the line with that ball. Some balls you hit over there because of the depth or the angle or the lack of depth. You'll get these intuitions after you do this for a while when you can move. Now, you go ahead and go slice down the line or jump around and pull anything you want. Be active. Oh, did you see that for a second? I kind of had it. He went to slice and so I, I kind of went, ah, and then I had to move. And I could feel it for a second because all of a sudden I saw him go under the ball. And because he went to slice, I have to respect the fact that he can slice the ball down the line or he can slice it across. One more forehand. For I am seriously screwed. So this is my last chance to get that ball down the line and out of trouble in such a way as to make the down the line and not get her cross court. Tried it, I missed it. So I'm balanced pretty good. <laughs> laughing over there. It's fun, isn't it? You guys see? Oh, Elliot, nice running. Oh! Right, well, we talked a little bit about that, but I will tell you this: you're going to go down the line. You got to make it. If you don't teach your kids and your adults how to hit a slice, and some of those that do hit slices and come to you and say, I want to learn to hit over the ball, if they've got a nice slice, the most biggest injustice you can do to them is to spend a lot of time, energy, and money trying to get them to hit over the ball, especially adults that are three, four, three, fives. They see all this top spin, they want to learn it. Teach them how to play left to center and pivot into their forehand before you spend $3,000 of their money, even though money's good, but it's not about the money, folks. There's another lesson out there. If you're a good coach and you do a good job, and you know people are, you're caring about the people, they'll sense that, you don't have to spend all their money teaching them something that you're not going to be able to do. Slices, sometimes they're defensive like that. I had no intention, oh, that's a good shot, this dog. I had no intention of going down the line with that ball because once I get way out over here, even though I'm going to slice, Elliot can stay over there. He doesn't have to come back to the middle because if I hit a slice down the line, it's coming back to him. Even if I hit it perfect, that ball's coming back to him. So he's running to a ball. It is helping him. Now, if I hit a slice from this area, and I hit it correctly, correctly meaning a little inside out on it, that ball is not helping Elliot. That's trailing away from him. So most of the places I have, my favorite slice is somewhere right in around here in the middle of the court. For whatever reasons, I didn't get around to hit a forehand. Most of the times, I'll hit a forehand off a ball in this zone, and I'm never going to try hit a backhand. I cannot slice a ball that's empty enough to pick it up. That was questionable. Probably should have picked that one too. Balls that land deep are tough to slice. Same reason you cannot slice half volleys. Rackets in a slice, slice position, balls too close to it, it's rising quickly. These two planes pass each other a little too thin. So you've got to pick the ball up and get the ball in a more square position. More of a half volley. There's a backhand at that point. Alright, now I missed that ball. Watch Elliot's feet again now. Don't just listen to my ball. Watch Elliot's feet. See if I got him. I can get see he's, 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 that is the silliest thing I've ever seen, but I was so shocked he did that. There. Well, that was a hell of a slice, I gotta admit, but bottom line is if I hit it halfway decent in there, Elliot did a pretty good Ellis impersonation there. Now Elliot, if I'm hitting backhands, where are you going to stand? Maybe you're hitting backhands. Okay. What if I'm slicing backhands and I get reasonable? You had to move back to the middle of the court. The slice backhand works because it stays low, which is great against today's Western grips. It moves away from the player. When you get ready to hit it when you go down the line, if you hit it from the correct position on the court, if you hit it correctly here, Nice slice on it. 
goes away from the player. That's why you choose a mid-line ball or a low ball to do it on. High balls you can't get inside out on. So those balls I generally keep cross-court and I don't try to button the turn.